Hey and welcome guys! So I have cleared the final stage of the current Pure Fiction with over 72,000 points and I want to show you how it's done. So let's go into our team setups first. Um, the first battle we have an ice weakness so I decided yeah let's go with Herta again. Uh, she's a level 70 character. We'll go into character showcases at the end of the video but let's just talk about team setups first. So we have Herta here. Um, of course, naturally with Herta, we also want uh, someone else who can get the enemies below 50% to get Herta's follow-up attacks. So I paired up Himiko with her. If you don't know about Himiko, she works uh, kind of a similar way. She gets follow-up attacks whenever you break um, like enemies' toughness gauges. So, who's good at breaking toughness gauges? Ruin Mei, so I put her into this team as well. And finally, we are not using a sustain unit. I love doing that in pure fiction. <laughs> we are not using a sustain unit. Instead, we are using a sparkle to provide us with the necessary skill points and a little bit more damage amplification. Um, for the cacophony, in this team, we are using the uh, inducement. The one basically applies more uh, shatter debuffs on the enemy targets whenever we are hitting them with a skill which naturally works pretty well when you're using uh, erudition characters that hit all of the enemies at the same time. The second team, it has a lightning weakness, so I decided and I kind of fell in love with this character. I didn't even want to pull for her, but then I tried her out and dude, I, I totally fell in love with her ultimate. We are using Acheron in this team as uh, yeah, pretty much the, the only and the very hyper carry. And um, then she's joined by... Pella, who is also a level 70 character, by the way. Yeah, I have two level 70 four-star characters in here. Um, and then Silver Wolf for the second Nihility character. And finally, we have uh, Fujuan in there. I was sustained for this fight. There's something very special about this Fujuan, by the way, which is in regards to her light cone, but we'll, go, we'll talk about this later after the fight. The cacophony in the second team setup here is uh, Sympathetic Detonation. This, this one is quite interesting because I feel like it's... Uh, <laughs> this one is totally aimed towards Acheron. So this one says, When enemy targets use their abilities, inflicts one stack of Scalded on them and adjacent units. We don't even care what this does. The only thing we really care about is that whenever an enemy uses their ability, they are basically applying a debuff on themselves. And this counts towards the ultimate stacks of Acheron. So basically, the enemies are helping you to uh, get more ultimates with Acheron. Yeah, basically in this pure fiction, whenever uh, you're using a ultimate, an ultimate to attack the enemies, uh, you are applying this Shatter debuff on them. The more ultimates you use to attack, the more damage you deal. Sounds pretty good to me, sounds easy enough, but let's get into the battles now. So naturally, for the first fight, uh, we are not using a sustain unit. So this can get a bit tricky sometimes. But le let's see how it works. It it's not as bad as it might seem. <laughs> anyway, so um, also about this sparkle, I'm I'm not doing any any speed tuning at all because I I was too lazy for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite honestly, it's not even that necessary. So basically what I'm doing is I'm looking at whether uh, Himiko is slower or, or hurter and I, I boost whoever is whoever is a little slower here. It's basically all I'm doing. So look, already a very, very nice showcase of what we are doing here. So basically, uh, Herta and Himiko, they are helping themselves out. They are helping each other out uh, with their follow-up attacks. So this is a uh, lovely little combo. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> the synergy. The synergy. It's beautiful. So Shinsota is my uh, Shinsota is my only level 70 character in this team. 
Uh, the only thing that I don't want to happen is that uh, she gets targeted too often. So we are basically relying on a little bit of luck. Just a tiny little bit. Okay, it's Himiko again. It's working pretty well, isn't it? <laughs> Keep in mind, Herta is level 70. She is a four star character. She is not. She has not even reached her final ascension, which would be boost the damage even more. This is all just. Um, This is basically a mid herder. You you can make her much stronger than this. <laughs> I, I should probably do that at some point since uh, it seems like we'll be using her a lot during these uh, pure fiction modes. Dude, look at this. Follow up after follow up after follow up. <laughs> Such a fun setup. Okay, so let's check our skill points now. Mm. Yeah, we should be fine. At this point in the fight, I need to be a bit careful, because um, depending on the energy that Sparkle has, um, I would need to do like more, uh, like one more auto attack instead of using her skill. Um, but she got hit quite a lot, so that's uh, that's lucky for us, because now we can use her ultimate. We get some skill points back. And we can keep on damaging the enemies. Ouch. Yeah, he he hurts. <laughs> when when he hits Herta, that's that's always um yeah, doesn't feel too great. So look at this. So um, Himiko has two out of three of her um, follow-up stacks. I can now simply use an auto with um, with Ruan Mei here to break this guy's toughness gauge. And then we get another follow-up attack. So there's just a tiny bit of micromanagement here. Ah, uh, let's do... Ah, uh, let's do Himiko again. Uh, look at our points, by the way, so yeah. <laughs> We're doing pretty well. Uh, okay. Hmm. Will that be enough to get my ultimate? I'm actually not too sure about that. I'll just I'll just try it. Is it enough? Ah, it's just okay. Just a little. Okay. That is fine though. Boom. And now we are slowly dying, but that is totally fine. I, I got all I needed from this fight. <laughs> I got all I needed. Okay, so. A uh, second battle. There isn't really much uh, setup for this one when it comes to techniques. We're just using Fujuan, and then we engage with Acheron. 
And now I'll show you the beauty, the beauty of the uh, cacophony here. Because whenever the enemies use any kind of ability, it could also just be a, a basic attack. Like whenever an enemy does anything, we will always get one additional stack for Acheron's ultimate. And that, that, that is just crazy. That is crazy. Because... I'll show you why that is so crazy. Look at the damage of her ultimate. Look at this. <laughs> it's, it's insane. It is insane. Don't get fooled into thinking she's insanely OP though. Um, she certainly is very strong, but um, of course, thanks to the uh, cacophony here, it just looks like she's <laughs> she's completely bonkers. Great character, though. As I said, like I totally fell in love with the playstyle she has. When I read about her kit first, I was kind of like, I, I was doubting. <laughs> I was doubting how how uh, well it works and how fun it is, but. Now that I tried it out, it's... I love it. Oh yeah, fun little thing we can do here. So, um... Naturally, Pella and uh, Silver Wolf can always apply a debuff. So they can increase... Uh, Athra Atheron's <laughs> ultimate here. But whenever I get like really close to breaking a uh, toughness gauge with a Fujuan, I should do that with her because that also counts as applying a debuff with that character. For example, we can now use her ultimate here. Oh, we're not breaking anyone. Okay, ignore what I just said. <laughs> Ignore what I just said. I'm sure we can show it off at some point. And another ultimate. ケキデータ<笑> Uh, I should probably save that ultimate. Yep. And another ultimate. <laughs> Over 500,000 damage, dude. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my god. And guess what? There's another ultimate right here.
Damn, we are adding, we are actually getting a, a little bit unlucky here because uh, Fujuan is not targeted too often here. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, but anyway, <laughs> I guess we have a new record. Um, but yeah, here's my Herta setup. I gave her Himiko's Light Cone, which I was lucky enough to pull with a silver ticket. To kind of balance out that she's only level 70. Um, yeah, as, as you can tell, she's also not ascended. Um, her traces are also kind of lacking. So there is nothing too crazy going on with her, really. She's E6, of course. But yeah, to kind of balance out that she really doesn't have a lot of stats, uh, I put that 5-star light cone on her. That's like pretty much the only reason why Himiko is using the 4-star the light cone here. Yeah, also, as you can tell... I didn't really invest too much time into building her. <laughs> it's basically just just all rainbow relics. We do have uh, the, the two set bonus from the follow-up set though. But yeah, nothing too crazy here. Yeah, Acheron. She's using uh, the good night and sleep well light cone. Works pretty well. I was doing a little work on the traces. I actually managed to finish the uh, the ultimate uh, like right before I, I did this video. <laughs> Her relics, <laughs> it's kind of funny because these relics are basically my old Ching Yuan setup. Like I didn't, I didn't farm any relics for Acheron yet. These are just some pieces that I used on my old uh, Jing Yuan. And since he's using the the follow up set now, I was like, oh yeah, let's let's put those lightning things on her. I guess that could work somehow. And as you can tell, it it works pretty well. It works pretty well. I definitely want to. Um, get the new relic set for her, but for now, you know, this was definitely enough. Then on Pella, uh, we have the Resolution Shines as Pearls of Sweat uh, light cone. We have um, so some traces, you know, some traces. We have good relics. Um, then the Silver Wolf over here, she's using the uh, four star light cone. And then finally, Fujuan, there's something interesting to mention here about the light cone. Because <laughs> usually, usually I'm using this light cone on her, the texture of memories, the, the free-to-play light cone from the simulated universe. But um, I changed to the trend of the universal market light cone on her, for this fight especially, or for this team setup especially, because this one has an interesting effect. Namely that uh, when this character gets hit, there's actually a chance that you burn the enemy. And this burn counts as a debuff, of course. So basically, even though Fujuan would normally not really be able to um, apply a debuff on enemies, you know, despite breaking the toughness gauges, um, with this light cone, whenever she gets hit, she applies a debuff on the enemies. So that also helps towards the ultimate of Acheron. This was a really fun thing to do. I love pure fiction because it I don't know, it's it's like it's like a totally new meta. It's, <laughs> it's so fun to do this, especially, you know, with crazy stuff like not using a sustain unit. It's it, it's such a cool feeling. I don't know. I really love these. Okay, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you can um, maybe, you know, grab some advice from this. Uh, maybe you have the right units as well. Maybe you have a herter lying around that just waits for you to pick her up and to clear this. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you liked the video and uh, tune back in in two weeks for the next Memory of Chaos. Thank you so much, guys. Have a fun week. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.